you know, unless we develop ourselves in love, any set of rules, any theology, any book, it's just meaningless mm -hmm. and is just open to our errors driving our actions mm -hmm. through how we interpret it. Uh, yeah, and basically using the book and interpreting it in a way that supports our false beliefs yes. that are unloving. Yes. And this is why there are so many sectarian faiths associated with the Bible, because none of them can really agree with what it actually really says, because every single one of them come from a different interpretation based on their own emotions, mm -hmm. their own emotional beliefs, what they can cope with internally, emotionally, is what they will finish up teaching from that book. And it doesn't matter how plain the book is about something, yeah. they'll ignore all the things that are plain yeah. just to get across their own emotional feelings yes. through the teachings that they embrace. And uh, that makes me laugh sometimes because people say, um, to you how convenient it is you know for us to just say well some of what in the bible is right and some of is wrong and they're like well that's pretty convenient for you guys and to me it's not a it's not a big leap if you develop yourself in love you'll know the bits that apply and that don't correct and it's it's a lack of development in love that limits our understanding of not just a book but yes. of everything and i don't uh, conveniently use a book in order to justify my behavior exactly, exactly. <laughs> so i would say to such people who say that to us honestly you're the one who's using the book for convenience yes not me yeah <laughs> anyway woo, got a bit political there <laughs> and, that's uh, good we need to yeah <laughs> and the, the reality is you know the welfare of children in the spirit world is far better than the welfare of children on earth yeah. You know, we as society, we have a terrible viewpoint towards children. We think we don't, but we do. Mm -hmm. We treat children very badly. Even Absolutely. There is no law even in Australia to prevent a child from, uh, you know, no law that results in assault that would prevent a child from being assaulted by its own parent. In a charge unless it's of assault, severe. you mean? Yeah. Unless it's severe. Like, so just a general smacking in, the, in a public place nobody reports that parent to the police mm -hmm. nobody everybody sort of allows it if not allows it even supports it yeah. even tells the, the the mother that they need to belt their child so because that's what the bible says to do and things like that and this is an indication that we don't really love children on earth at all yet mm -hmm. once once we've got laws that protect children right across the board from physical verbal and sexual assault now we'll have we'll have actually now actually embraced God's way mm -hmm. and the spirit world's way of treating children. And, and if we can't treat our children well, then, then unfortunately, you know, we're not going to be able to treat other people very well. Unfortunately, though, we do treat adults better than we treat children. But unfortunately, that's only because adults can hit us back, generally. <laughs> it's, it's not because we have more love for them. Yeah. It's because we're more afraid of them. Yeah. And a child we're not afraid of, and so we feel it's okay to smack them or whatever. And these are all indications that, you know, there's not much love that really exists on this planet yet. Mm -hmm. And until we embrace the change of these kind of problems, um, we're not embracing a world that's going to be more loving so that a person can remember their own sleep state, even. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Mm.